Hey, it's not the wee hours of the morning that I'm recording this time. <laughs> hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Looks like Kirby was pretty tired there just sitting around. Oh, before I go into the boss, actually I should show something because I haven't shown it before. You can press the A button to do a guard, to guard certain attacks. But I really don't use it because of the fact that you have to kind of know which attacks you can guard. <laughs> So I would prefer just like dodging out of the way. Also, I, I don't use this very much. Press down, then press the jump button to do a slide. You can use that to break through blocks. I always forget to use it when it, when it would actually come in handy, like a long stretch of breakable blocks. Anyway, let's go to the boss. More Ridley music, a tower, aesthetic cannons. See, this, these are just for design. You can't even reach these things. <laughs> Um, wing and warp star. Woo! Oh, we got the happy music. Looks like the boss flew south for the winter. And there's the ship part we're looking for the sail. Woo! Uh oh. Yeah, if you didn't see that com coming, you probably aren't the brightest bulb on the tree. <laughs> this is the Grand Doomer. It is a much larger version of the Sphere Doomer, as you can pretty much tell there. <laughs> I recommend using the wing power up here because of the fact that it can charge through things like that and have a lot of invincibility frames. And it overall, it acts pretty much like a regular Sphere Doomer, just much, much bigger and much more aggressive. Uh, so it's, I guess you could say, harder to dodge, but still not all that hard to beat until a little bit later. You'll see as we get there, because as you see, it's pretty much being the same thing. And this is a new attack. Do not land or touch that shadow. Yeah, it'll, it'll actually pull you inside. Ow, pull you inside it there. I did not expect him to move that quickly to the right, and that screwed up my timing there. Ugh! Oh, that really screwed up my timing. <laughs> I'm going to try and cut those, yeah. He, he sort of tries to trap you by doing it like every other one like that and then dropping a ball in the middle. So the trick is to destroy one of the balls on the edges first and then uh, you won't have to worry about getting trapped whatsoever. And now at the halfway point, this is where he starts getting more aggressive. Look out, baby! <laughs> Do your move. I mean, think through your moves carefully. He's faster. He's got more moves. And see, that's another move of a, of a normal sphere doomer, except it's done much faster. And there, the balls are actually bigger as well. That's another uh, new sort of move there, but it's still sort of sphere doomer-ish in a way. This is definitely new. <laughs> But that's pretty easy to dodge just by jumping over it. He only starts at one end and then moves over to the other one. Oh, I want to do a charge attack, curses. But it's okay. And by the way, oh, dang it. I want to charge, yeah, like that. I am doing horrendous again. <laughs> Perhaps it is not about my tiredness as it is my simple playing skill. Nah, it's probably because I'm commentating while playing. Hard to play and commentate at the same time, as I've explained before, because it divides your attention. Anyway, once he gets down to the nitty-gritty of his health, he starts... he goes into, like, the super mode. Well, uh, you'll see when we get there very shortly. But just be prepared for that, and don't expect that you are going to be able to use your power. As a matter of fact, your power will be completely useless. You see that you got... I mean, that he's now got... Four bars up there, four star bars. Well, those can only be destroyed by using a superpower, which hasn't shown its face just yet. I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Sword Guy! Woo! The Ultra Sword. Let's time this to see if I can hit him as he's coming down. Ugh, sometimes I can get this to work. Come on. Just need to offset the timing a little bit. There we go. That's the best way to avoid taking a hit, because when he drops down on top of you, he's very unpredictable as to where exactly he's going to be dropping. So just spam that power like crazy, I suppose. Hey, there's a little uh, strawberry shake. Two down, two to go. This is by far the coolest part of the fight here. You got 
freaking awesome music. Well, it was awesome from the start. You're using your super ability in a boss battle the first time in the entire game. This is awesome! <laughs> That's all I have to say about it here. But that should be pretty obvious by what you're watching. Kaboom! <laughs> and before he can recover and get himself another one of those star bars, mess him up! Woo! And that's how it's done. The last ship part is in hand. You should do a dance too. And thus, another piece of the ship somehow just pops right back into place without any bolts, screws, nails... Inexplainable. <laughs> and thus, the ship is complete! The game is finished! And now we can take a trip to his homeworld for vacation. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure Kirby's got plenty of snacks. Yay! Flying through hyperspace, and that's pretty much how you get to his world really, really quickly. <laughs> well, this place doesn't look too friendly. Well, at least we're only going here for food, I guess, and you know, just. Uh oh! Oh boy. Oh my. Shot down. Well, that can't be good. Hopefully, I won't have to find those five ship parts all over again. Ow. They really should have seats and seat belts packed into this thing. It is clearly not safe. Well, it looks like the game isn't over. Ah, oh, come on. You should have seen that coming. <laughs> I mean, did you see the energy spheres that we had left? We had quite a bit left to go, so... They had to come from somewhere. Five worlds and made this game really short, actually. So it looks like we gotta take care of that dragon monstrosity there. What do you have to say about that dragon? Ah, Landia, that is its name. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, that could be pretty bad for, you know, the population of this place. Doesn't seem very healthy to be attacked by a dragon on a, on a regular basis here. So let's go to the world map. Um... Now that you're in this new place, well, there's World 6 right there, but I'm going to show you something first. I'm going to go back over to the ship. If you press the one, one button on the ship, you can fly back over to Planet Popstar, and vice versa, to Halkandra. Anyway, level 6, 
egg engines, the industrial level of the game. Let's start the first one. Because we have plenty of time to do so. <laughs> or at least I think I do. Three energy spheres, yeah, I'll probably get them in time. And more awesome music, may I add. I don't have to say anything more than that, you're probably tired of hearing me say that. I believe these things are probably like instant kill. I don't really want to test that though. <laughs> I don't. I never got hit by them once, but I probably will in this walkthrough just because I said that and I've had a pretty bad luck streak in general. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe it's not bad luck, just me playing like a burp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. I would like you. Yeah, seizure! <laughs> Gotta love the spark power. Incredibly broke, incredibly powerful. Well, broke is powerful, so to speak. Ruh, ruh, ruh. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything there. I uh, haven't seen any energy spheres so far. I believe they're in the next area, actually. I mean, the first one is in the next area, excuse me. These are, these flowers are pretty weird, it's like they're mechanical, but they react just like normal flowers, and yeah. <laughs> I guess even um, these industrial sites like to have flowers, even if they can't grow your typical flowers along the way. Don't grab that! Don't grab that! I'll put you to sleep. That's the sleep power-up, and yeah. <laughs> That's just there to trick you into... Uh, touching it and then getting attacked by one of those lightning cannon thingy things, whatever the heck their names are. Maybe it's a plasma cannon, spark cannon, I don't know. Their, their power is very similar to the thing that I've got right now, the spark. Did I miss anything? I mean, hmm, is there anything down here? No, it's just blackness. I, I'm fearing that I'm missing something here, and when I fear that I miss something, I'm, I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, I must time this and avoid getting squished! Oh, there's a little delay in the cannon, I'll probably have to account for that. Like that. That's ideal. Wah! Uh, which way do I want to... Oh, it looks like it's just... Oh, hit that! Okay. <laughs> because I was like, I was gonna miss that door if I, if I wouldn't have hit that. Um, oh, I see, I gotta time myself to hit that. Like that. And I can get the goodies. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought that was gonna close me or block me off away from that uh, energy sphere there, but that worked out. Okay. And now I can continue on and hopefully not get squished. Wah! Must time barrel cannons wisely. Eee, that's that one's kind of scary. <laughs> that was a really long streak there. Uh, I don't really need you, because I've got you, basically. Uh, okay, let's continue. Get all, get your shield up as soon as you can. Can I go... No, I can't go down through these. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Be on the lookout for energy spheres. That's a pretty easy to predict pattern there. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to bother getting those sandwiches. I'm at full... Hello? I might actually need to hit that. Yeah. yeah, I can break through, I mean, shoot through walls with uh, my good old plasma, well, spark. But it reminds me so much of plasma, I can't help but say plasma, you know, from Superstar. So dang it, maybe I'll just keep saying that. <laughs> it's clearly a ripoff of plasma. Well, I shouldn't say it's a ripoff, because it is its own thing. It's got its own things. Uh, okay. That was a pretty easy area overall. Uh, I hope I don't have to race something here. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna run through this as quickly as I can, because I got the delicious sweet candy, which makes Kirby super hyper and makes him invincible. See, hyperness is where you get your invincibility from. That's why I'm so hyper in my videos, so I try, you know, to stay as... Oh, wait. Oh, I don't need to come here anyway. I was gonna say I need the cutter power. Oh, I guess I could use the sword if I wanted to. But, yeah! Anyway, let's move on and hopefully don't miss something. Oh, those things break as soon as they hit the ground. That's not a very uh, good hammer there. You need to get some higher quality metal. <laughs> um, I really... Hmm. Well, you're interesting. I forgot what you're weak against. Can I, like... Hmm. I'm pretty sure you can, like, light their fuse and then blow them up. 
but I, I, maybe I need the, the firepower to do that. A complete. Oh, these guys. <laughs> that explains it. Well, I should say it's just this guy, the Monster Flame. Oh, and uh, I believe someone told me that you can actually control this with the uh, D-pad. Uh, yeah, you can light them like that. I'm gonna just try that. Uh, uh, you, yeah, you can redirect it just a little bit, but it's. I thought it was like I was gonna be able to control it and indefinitely, like be able to zigzag it across the screen at will. But you can just change the angle of it ever so slightly. So, I guess while you can uh, uh, angle it if you want to, like adjust it ever so slightly if you accidentally miss an enemy or something like that. But it, it, I didn't really see much of a difference. You definitely can tell that it's moving slightly, slightly upwards or slightly downwards when you press that direction on the control stick. Uh, control stick! <laughs> the D-pad, excuse me, the control stick. What am I thinking? And kablooey! Expect to uh, find another black and white area of sorts here coming up because, you know, whenever you see one of these uh, super abilities, you know there's going to be something to blow up with it to uncover a portal to... The mysterious black and white world, of which I still haven't looked the name up of. I don't know it offhand. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, it's just, as I said before, you don't really have to know the names of everything. It's preposterous. <laughs> Maybe I have to blow this guy up to create a portal. It certainly seems like something, because he's, he's massive. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's always something spectacular and big that leads to one of these portals, and there's the end right there, but of course we can't go in there until we get the energy spheres, come on! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> that was a little bit uh, hasty on that walls part there, eee. but uh, I guess the beginning was just there as a quick trap, but it wasn't quick enough, I suppose. Gordo's gonna be in my way here, but not that much, apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're only one square wide, so it's pretty easy to dodge that thing. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 I want to... there. I could also do it just by blowing a puff of air at it, but, you know, the game clearly wants me to shoot something at it, then it's giving me those things, so I thought, hey, let's uh, go with what the game's telling me. <laughs> Why not, right? Uh, yeah! Gimme. Gimme the chunkers. Ma well, it makes Kirby chunky. <laughs> uh, this is a pr pretty straightforward area, actually. Now that one would have made me fall off the edge if I wouldn't have shot that out quickly. That's a pretty neat track they had there. <laughs> Look at this combo that's going, that's pretty awesome. And it's still going, wow. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, gods, gotta get, door, must, no, 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 yeah. Okay, there actually wasn't that much pressure there. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the bomb here, because I always say for bosses, use a long range weapon for them. And, oh, this is the bomb version of the Sphere Doomer. It's uh, a little bit tougher than the other ones, I would have to say, which is probably why it's this late in the game. And it's that's going to explode. Oh, wait, this is, no, that's the ice version of the Sphere Doomer, excuse me. What am I thinking with the bomb one? Maybe it's because of that one attack that seems like it explodes, you know, like that I remember that it explodes. <laughs> well, I clearly remembered the attack, but I didn't remember the elements. Anyway, it's done. A Sphere Doomer is pretty much a Sphere Doomer in the end. And, well, except for the Grand Doomer, but that's because it's a Grand Doomer. <laughs> Voila! Woo! And, Gold Game. Oh dear. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> I could feel that in my bones, I pressed it too early. Well, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Woo! But did we unlock anything? No. Okay. Doodoo! -doo.